If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. So today um, we'll do a quick update on the RD. Uh, as you can see, the front mudguard is in and it is looking nice. Uh, the only challenge is the shape is not perfect. It is kind of tilted this way. So this has to tilt the other around. And plus there is a small dimple here, which we have to get fixed. So I just installed it on this so that I can take the bike to the guy who uh, fixed the mudguard and get it repaired there itself and you know he can make small changes to it. So that was the plan. Uh, other than that, uh, what we did is we actually swapped the carburetors. Uh, I took the right hand side carburetor and I put it in the left side of the um, I mean on the left cylinder now the problem is the left side is misfiring so as you can see the silencer is pretty wet look at this side it is pretty dry and you can see some oil drips also so that is primarily happening because uh, it is still misfiring the carburetor is getting flooded and that is causing issues so what I did is today I took apart the carburetor and I just um, cleaned the pilot jet and the main jet. Um, what I didn't clean is the atomizer and other stuff. So my plan is to get the carburetor completely cleaned. I'm also considering removing the uh, crossover and I want to see if individually they will perform better because this misfire can also happen if the crossover is you know not done properly so that is one thing second thing is um, the quest to actually make it rust proof has brought me to this so this particular tail lamp bracket is manufactured by a guy who is quite famous in facebook i'm not gonna name him because i didn't buy this from him i bought it from a friend who bought it from that guy so the challenge with this is the shape is not correct this shape is supposed to be like this because let's see it is hitting it so i'll show you the old tail light bracket and i'll place them side by side so you know what i mean look at the shape difference so aftermarket is aftermarket you know there's no two ways about it you will have to do modifications you will have to fix it so that is the biggest challenge with aftermarket products um, plus if you see the headlight is not sitting flush so these are you know issues that occur when you buy uh, aftermarket stuff so the quality is also not that great it is made of steel but uh, i mean stainless steel but you know i feel it is way too flimsy when it is compared to this one you know this feels solid in your hand it is slightly heavier also original is original you know you look at this this is like something that came with the bike it is like you know at least 35 40 years old um, so it had some minor rust issues like you can see here so this is why i actually thought that you know with the new mudguard and plated everything this would look really awkward so i decided to go for a brand new uh, you know tail light bracket i also wanted to get uh, brand new stainless steel mud guards but i was not sure of the fit and finish so ultimately what has happened is um, i ended up getting um, this one fixed so it is looking okay i won't say that it is looking very ugly but you know there are improvements that can be made um, Actually, this would look really nice if this is converted to an US spec. So if there is a stay coming like this, you know, from here, then this would look really awesome. Um, but otherwise, if you see, see, it is up here by at least two finger width. If you go here, it is three finger width. Uh, 
So another thing that we need to do is now see if you look at the bike, it is sitting a little tall, especially at the front. So my next plan is to get this uh, height reduced. So I'm thinking of getting it reduced by at least two inches. Another thing that I saw yesterday is see, basically this bike and this color was inspired by um, another bike that I saw, um, you know, a couple of years ago. Not a couple of years ago, a few years ago. So that bike had the same color, um, had the same chrome treatment, but different style of stickers. That bike actually had the Pulsar 220 setup and uh, the rear had Apache shocks. But uh, what really attracted me towards that bike was the amazing rims it had. It actually had aluminum rims, okay, and it had 17 inch aluminum rims. So because of that size, he was able to, um, you know, retain that stock height of the bike. He had just, you know, fixed the shocks just like me. You know, it is like an inch up um, like this. But otherwise, um, it was looking exactly like this. Uh, but with 17 inch, you know, the stance was right. Now it is sitting a little tall. So I have to fix that. Uh, things which needs to go for plating are both the silencers, both the bend pipes. Then I have two of these mirrors which need to go for plating the front mudguard. Uh, I'm buying a new rim or I'm thinking now with the mudguard, the rim actually looks nice, you know, the wide rim. So that is still a little dicey. If I go for the um, same rim, then I might get this one plated. Uh, again, plating doesn't last much. This ring is going for plating. I have to give the gear lever for plating. So yeah, a couple of things will go for plating. This is going to turn into an expensive affair pretty soon. I, and I'm thinking that I will start a Patreon now because, you know, I really don't have the kind of funds to dedicate to these bills which happen one after the another. So uh, after the RD build, I have to rebuild the Shogun. In between somewhere, I have to also do the engine work on my RX-100. So yeah, it's a packed schedule. And then after the Shogun build is complete, I have to get into the big bore setup. I have to also follow up on what needs to be done there. Yep. So another thing that we need to do is uh, we need to cut the smart card from here so that it can lock into this position it is like hitting this so that is done in almost all mudguard so that there is nothing new there uh, then we need stickers for this side uh, i just noticed the allen key was pretty loose so we'll have to tighten that and do that uh, we have to get the stickers for both the sides i have got the sticker designing done i have to get it printed i'm getting those gel six stickers because otherwise the uh, aluminium kind of stickers were damn expensive like you know 2300 bucks those were stainless steel not aluminium but i don't think um, i'm going to spend that kind of money for the sticker um, and also i didn't like the overall look of the sticker so that is the update on the RD. I will just show you guys how well she starts up. You know, just one kick is all you need to start the bike. See. And at lower RPMs it is firing well.
circular RPM thing start going south. So that is what we need to fix. We need to fix the other side carburetor because that is where the problem is. Uh, these Chinese stuff actually work really well till they work. Once they stop working, everything goes for a toss. So I have some stuff for this bike coming in pretty soon. Like, you know, I have two nylon washers which will go into the footrest so this play won't be there anymore. Plus I have actually bought, uh, you know, some more rubber stuff. Uh, main attraction is I have actually got a mango washer set for the uh, rear indicators. So yeah, a lot of stuff is going to happen to this, but post that, uh, once this is completely done and dusted, uh, I'm going to move into the next project, uh, which is going to be the Shogun. There is a slight gap that I notice here, which actually can be reduced. Because that is kind of looking a little ugly. So I'll see what can be done. Probably we'll have to increase the um, you know gap underneath because looks like that is where the problem is so yeah that's the video for today um, st stay posted uh, you know stay updated do subscribe and do click on the notification uh, so that you guys get the latest update about this Hopefully by the end of this week, I should be able to sort the carburetor flow issue. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The lights just came on. So I think it is pretty dark now. And hopefully you guys are able to see the video. Um, so yeah, we'll meet you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.